Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to establish communication between your launchpad and your PC using call and response method. Let's get started with the hardware setup. For this tutorial, you would be requiring MSP430 launchpad, two potentiometers, one momentary switch, three 10K ohm resistors, breadboard and few hookup wires. The schematic helps you do in doing the hardware setup. We will be collecting data from three sensors in our setup, two analog sensors and one digital sensor. Start off with your breadboard. Hook up the two potentiometers which we will be using as analog sensors on the breadboard. Connect the middle pins of the pots to analog pin A0 and A3 respectively via two 10K ohm resistors. Ground the other ends of resistors to ground. Now connect one of the side pins of both pots to VCC. Now let's connect our third digital sensor. We will be using switch for this purpose. Connect one leg of switch to pin 11 or pin 2.3 via 10K resistor. Connect other leg to VCC. Ground the other leg of resistor. Simply plug your launch pad to your computer over USB. You are now all set up to start playing with launch pad and start communicating with your PC using your hardware setup. Before we start exploring our code, Let's see how the call and response method works. Call and response method is nothing but a handshaking protocol followed by sender and receiver before they actually start exchanging messages. In our tutorial, Launchpad is the sender. We will be sending messages using Energia. Your PC is the receiver. We will be receiving messages and responding back to them using processing ID running on your PC. Before Launchpad starts sending actual messages to PC, it starts sending character A continuously until it receives response from the PC. Using processing ID, we keep scanning if Launchpad has sent character A. Once we receive it on our serial line, we send our response character, which is A again. The Launchpad would now stop sending any further characters and start sending the actual messages, which are sensor readings in our case. Once it's received at the PC end, the processing GUI will display a window with a gray circle inside. Changing the sensors will change the position of the gray circle inside the processing window. Now let's open up Energia and explore the code. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Communication, Serial Call and Response. In the code example, we can see that we have a setup and loop portion. In the setup, we configure pin 11, which is a digital pin, as our input. We set up serial communication at the rate of 9600 bits per second. We now start sending byte continuously until receiver responds. This is done by call function establish connect. We enter the loop portion of the code once we receive a response from PC. This is checked using API serial.available. If the return value is greater than zero, then it indicates that Launchpad has received response and is now ready to send sensor values. The values of three sensors are read into three variables, first sensor, second sensor, and third sensor. The value of analog sensors, which is spot value, is read using analog read function. And the value of digital sensor, which is switch in our case, is read using digital read function. This value is mapped to a range between 0 and 255 using map function. The sensor data is now sent one by one using serial.write API to PC after which it goes back to waiting response for the data sent. At the PC end, we have processing IDE, which waits for data to be sent from Launchpad. Once the sensor values are received, the ball in the screen moves accordingly as the port is moved and switch is pressed. Now we know what our code does to establish the call and response method of communication. Let's press verify and download button and watch things in action.